After Effects works hand in hand with Photoshop in pretty much a similar fashion as it does with Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to hop over to Photoshop and show you that I have the same kind of artwork that we had in the Illustrator lesson. The old Banshee and we have the different layers for eyes, body, hair, and the background. And they're in these little folders here. Now what we can do is we can go to File, New when you want to start a brand new project and you can choose that film and video preset that we saw in the Illustrator lesson. You can also choose your size from the drop down to make it compatible with the size you're working with in your After Effects project. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because we already have a file ready to go. So what I'm going to do is simply save it on my desktop as Banshee 3 and I'm going to leave it as a Photoshop document. The important part that we want to pay attention to is we want to make sure we have layers enabled. This is a big deal. If you don't, it's going to come in as a flat image. So I'm going to save. Then I'll hop back over to After Effects and I'm going to double click in my project panel. Head to my desktop and here is the Banshee. Like before, we can choose to bring it in as footage, a composition, or retain layer sizes. So let's go ahead and start with footage. And we'll choose footage here in the import kind option. We can choose merge layers. And as you see here, we're not given a folder with the different layers that we can access. We're given one piece of artwork. For our purposes, that's not really going to help because we want to animate that. So I'll double click. And this time, I'm going to show you that we can also choose a layer. So we can choose any artwork from any of those groups here. We can make a document size. And then, as you can see, we have that artwork. In this case, an eyeball. I'll undo that. I'll double click. And we're going to bring this guy in again. This time, we're going to go to Composition. With composition, we have the ability, of course, to retain all the information that was created in the first application, which is Photoshop in this case. I'll go ahead and say OK. This time we're given our comp that contains these layers. So we have all these groups, and this is the hair, that's the arm, and so on. We can easily rebuild our character by simply dragging the artwork down here. So for example, I'll go ahead and take the hair throw it down here and I'll go ahead and grab his arm and toss it down there. We'll grab his body and don't worry if you get them in the wrong order. As you see the arm should be behind the body so we simply grab one of the layers and rearrange it. Of course it's helpful to rename these layers if you need to. We'll take the head and we can manually drag it over here as well if you want to position things. We can go here and grab the eye and once again put it where we want it to go grab the other eye and manually place our character where he belongs. You take the background, put it all the way in the bottom layer and we're ready to go. We have all the different parts of our character that we can click on and we can animate them by using auto keyframe or any of the options available to you for creating animation. We can even do cool things like make things glow. So let me find that hair layer real fast to show you. Here's the hair. I'm going to go to effect I'm going to go to Stylize, choose Glow, and I'm going to change the glow based on color channels to alpha channels, which will give us this really cool hot effect. So that is how we can use, let me go ahead and increase that there so you can see it, the layers from Photoshop to create an awesome comp in After Effects.